All right, everybody, today we are going to be recreating one of our favorite cocktails from one of our favorite places at the other side in Key West. So stay tuned. So first off, we're going to prepare our garnish. We're going to set our oven temperature to 200 degrees and let it preheat. We're going to want to use parchment paper on a nice big cookie sheet so we can spread everything out. We don't want these knives to stick. And we're going to slice up a few limes here. We want them to be thin but not too thin because they're going to really dehydrate in the oven so you want to make sure you get a nice even slice. This one's too thin, this one's just right. Alright, let's put them in the oven. You want to leave them in there for about two to three hours. Once they start looking nice and evenly dark, you are good to go. And these last in a Ziploc bag forever. There we go. We're going to Key West. Yep. We are going to Key West. So next up on our copycat cocktail recipe is a Hemingway daiquiri from the other side. So the other side in Key West is a cocktail bar that's literally on the other side of Caroline's like bar and grill uh, right off Duval Street. And what's cool about the other side is that it's not like the other places that you can get a drink in Key West that are in like a plastic cup and there are pina coladas and all that. Like that's fine, but this is a craft cocktail bar. So they have a menu with staples on it that you can get every time and usually they'll have a cocktail that night that's special or they'll whip something up fancy for you, but this is a classic. You can't go to Key West without talking about Ernest Hemingway. You can't talk about Ernest Hemingway without talking about the Hemingway daiquiri. So, uh, we're in quarantine, so we couldn't find the exact right ingredients that the other side uses, but this is going to be pretty close. So, at the other side, they use Papa's Pilar Rum. Papa being Ernest Hemingway. Papa, Ernest Hemingway, Big Papa. What? Papa. Papa. Yeah, but the rum. I know, but I'm saying. Uh talk about Papa. What's a Papa? Another name for the Hemingway daiquiri is a Papa Doble. Good to know. Fun fact. Write it down. Instead, we're just going to be using plain old white Captain Morgan rum. Uh, it calls for maraschino liqueur at my local liquor store during quarantine. They didn't have that, so we're going to be using what little bit we have left of Chambord because uh, I looked up what makes maraschino liqueur special, and it's got like a little bit of a fruitiness without being too sweet so I figured that's gonna be the closest thing we have uh, also calls for simple syrup and lime juice and we've got a lime juice sugar cane combination so we're gonna use that and this is some of our favorite grapefruit juice Natalie's grapefruit juice and we're gonna mix it all together and see what happens so here we go gotta have ice because it's hot on the island and it's hot right now and it's not even summertime it was 84 degrees today. It's like the first day of spring or something. Yeah. Alright, so a good islandy cocktail has almost as much liquor in it as it is gonna have juice. So we're gonna put um we're gonna put three parts of this white rum. The reason you don't want to use spiced rum or dark rum in this cocktail is because it's going to have a lot of flavor that's totally going to overpower the juice and it wouldn't taste very good. And we're going to put like a half a jigger of Chambord. We can weasel enough out of here. And then another half jigger of the lime juice and sugar cane. This. It's almost right. The grapefruit juice is going to make it that pale pink color. There 
go. So we're gonna use, so we're gonna do equal parts of the grapefruit and the rum. And if we need to make it a little bit stronger, we will. Maybe round two will be a little bit stronger. All right, and now we shake it up. So we are using the exact same glass that they use at the other side. You can get this from World Market. It's from their Speak Easy collection, and it's called a Champagne Coupe. So here we go. That looks like the right color. You want it to be that like pale, pink, citrusy color. And at the other side, they don't garnish this particular cocktail. They leave it nice, nice and neat, but we made these special dehydrated lime uh, slices that we thought would dress it up pretty nicely. So there you go, everybody. Let's give it a taste. That's pretty darn good. It's, um, it's not quite as, I feel like the, the one at the other side is a little lighter. I don't know, maybe that's the sham board, but this is good. I could drink these out by the pool, just back to back. It's not sweet. The rum doesn't give it any particular um, flavor since it's the clear rum. It's just really good. And they probably hit pretty hard, so you wanna go slow with these. So cheers. Please like and comment down below if you've tried any of our recipes or if you have any that you want us to try. And let's have fun at home till we get to go back to Key West. Happy, happy hour. <laughs>